By train from Sandringham at the end of her Christmas holiday, the Queen returned to London. Prince Charles travelled with her, though for him it was only a very brief stay. He went back to Cheam School later in the same day. The Queen looked well and appeared to be in good spirits. So the royal standard flies over the palace once more. Sir John Weir, one of the Queen's doctors, has been in attendance upon her during her pregnancy. So has Lord Evans, as well as an obstetrician and gynaecologist. Lord Evans, like Sir John, is reported to be well pleased by the Queen's health. Meanwhile, at Lady Hartdyke's sericulture farm, hungry silkworms are eating heartily, producing silk which, before long, will adorn a new royal baby. They cover themselves with their own silk before turning into moths. And that silk is being processed at Braintree, Essex, for the baby garments destined for Buckingham Palace. Jim Rolfe has been weaving for 40 years. Into the royal order, he's putting the skill and experience acquired in a working lifetime. He's a perfectionist, as befits a craftsman called upon to serve the Queen. It's 11 years now since Prince Charles was a baby, a delight to his mother, and already promising to be a very bright child. In August 1950, Princess Anne came on the scene, and when she was christened, the royal family posed for these pictures. At the palace, early next month, if not the end of this, the Queen's third child will be born.